Now that is a Hearthstone board. Look at it, it's beautiful. Yeah, this deck can make some absolutely crazy boards on the back of the Jailer and his immune effect. And in fact, was played to number one legend by Bunny Hopper. It's ultimately a control paladin shell that utilizes order in the court here to put your best stuff on top of your deck. That includes the Jailer, some free light rays typically, and light forged Cariel. And in particular, once you have Cariel online and you're cutting all your damage in half, that's gonna make it a lot safer to find time to play the Jailer, which other decks can struggle with. And then once you've used the Jailer to destroy your deck, you've probably already drawn the Countess and Reno Jackson as well. So you have some big healing off Reno, you have some crazy immune legendary generation off Countess, and that often allows you to just run away with games. Now, I did find some success with this deck, as of course did Bunny Hopper, and it can absolutely win games in bunches. I don't know if the data is going to be there across the entire meta for this one. We're still pretty early in the mini set, so I wouldn't run out and craft this right away. So, a really, really fun deck, a cool one that can win games, maybe just not the most reliably proven so far. All right, Battle Vicar seems good. Oh, I mean, Okani's a good card. I just. I'm not very good at using Okani, I feel like, and I just, I always feel like, well, what am I gonna do with Okani? I never know the right time to use it or play it, so. Um, yeah, Jason, I, I think the same thing. I'm surprised already that Twitch has not uh, cut Twitch Prime subs. I, I think the exact same thing, buddy, which is gonna be a really tough day for a lot of people who do not have YouTube to support their income. For me, I make about, on average this year so far, about $600 a month off Twitch Prime subs. Which is, you know, nice, it's significant, but it's not a majority of my income. A lot of streamers, it is a majority of their income. I think they're gonna have a harder time. <sighs> Garden's Grace is gonna be tough. Uh, total Carl thinks the ten dollars, dude. Any plans to transition to YouTube with computer plan adjustments to go in effect next year for Twitch? Um, no, not really. No, nothing formally. I mean, I, I might pop on YouTube here and again. It's no, no big deal. Uh, the 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 Twitch changes didn't affect me. I wasn't on the seventy thirty split they talk about. That I didn't even have that anyway. So to me, there was literally no difference. Uh, but also, I did not hit the hundred thousand dollar a year threshold either. So. In multiple ways, the, uh, they're not even close, frankly. I, I think I'll make like, honestly, like $30,000 off Twitch this year or something. It's maybe 35, 40, I don't know. N not anywhere close to $100,000. So, um, so no, I, it, it, that did not impact my, my reasons for being on Twitch. The reason I'm on Twitch really is just to diversify platforms. I, I don't think it's good to have all your eggs in one basket. Um, I think it's better to have your eggs in multiple baskets you know having a split platform youtube and twitch and multiple youtube channels i think that helps stabilize a lot of risk in, a, in an inherently risky uh career there's a lot of risk in this career already i'm trying to mitigate as much as i can so i like i like having the twitch stream basically and that doesn't preclude me from streaming on youtube though so if, if youtube streams make a lot of sense and they're super popular and they help me get a bunch of um you know, subscribers or whatever helps my grow my channel grow. Like, of course, I'd be happy to do that. Yeah. So, you know, just nothing, nothing official, nothing formal, nothing. I don't have any, any reason to do it one way or the other. Cariel here looks pretty good. I got really distracted, by the way, this game. I think we're good for order in the court, by the way. I think it's about time. We can advance it with the next order in the court as well. So we, we you know, we move pretty quickly through these. Is this going to be a Jailer v. Jailer matchup? I wonder if we're ever better off, like, holding our Jailer longer? No, I don't think so. Paladin does not deal with the Jailer, so first Jailer down is going to be in a really good spot. Though, unfortunately, they do have... Oh, they have Steward, though. So their deck's not exactly the same as mine. We don't have Steward. Favorite card from the mini set so far? Probably Jailer. He's just really fun and big. I think ultimately it will be a card like Sylvanas, just like a good value, mid-range value sort of cards are often cards I like a lot. 
So I would say Sylvanas at some stage. Let's think about this. How do we want to go Connie here? Um, I think minions are often more significant for Paladin. I don't know if there's anything on turn six specifically, but Paladin does often have cheap spells. Well, they also have cheap minions though. A lot of little battle vickers and knight of anointments and stuff. Maybe we, maybe we hit an order in the court. I don't know. I'm not really sure if this is time. I just don't have literally anything else to do. So <laughs> I guess hero power blessing is okay, but not great. Next turn we have Leviathan is nice. I have to ask if I'd play a countess or not. I don't know. Probably not. Probably would blessing of kings uh, a hero power. Yeah, okay. Glad we didn't take Minion there. That's one of those cheap ones we talked about. Cooking with Kilbin YouTube series, please. Boy, I'm really bad at cooking. I have thought it might be entertaining to do a, um, like a, uh, oh, that's not a good spell either, though. Uh, like, uh, learn how to cook channel. Like, I suck at cooking. Let's learn to cook together. I don't know how many people would, would find that useful, though. I think a lot of people just want, uh, they want to be taught, not, like, experience cooking i mean i guess it would be educational if you edited it well but yeah i don't know that would be the only way i could ever do something like that but your mind does drift towards like more generalized channels and, and youtube opportunities sometimes i'm in such a really specific niche with hearthstone you know it does not expand well to to wider audiences there are channels that that do and and themes that do man do i ever hold carry all for this equality for nine mana play a leviathan this turn and really not feel too bad i might i might trading doesn't reshuffle it it, it, it i think it did when it first came out or something I, I, but no it, it doesn't they they trading is distinct from shuffling they very carefully like worded it so that it would it would work the way we expect yeah i think we hold the carry out just in case it's a totally fine turn nine play if, if i don't need to equality we can still just carry out that's totally fine too so to explain this logic earlier well doesn't actually matter here because we know what we're getting so never mind i won't explain this logic <laughs> um protector seems the most useful at this stage of the game eh? not really thinking about face damage just yet paladin has a lot of life gain right so <laughs> regis overall accent looks like one super cool chill and smart uncle. <laughs> I don't know about the smart part, but I appreciate the rest of it. I played Secret Mage? Yeah, I put a video up on YouTube, actually. Uh, well, we're on YouTube. You can just click my name down there. <laughs> yes. Wow. Amazing. You can just look at it. That's great. That's a first. Okay, so quality here doesn't seem worth it. We'll just trade our 6-3, I think. I, well, that said, like, when am I going to use the equality post-jailer? I... I just, I'm not really ever going to use the equality post Jailer, right? There's no way. What good is an equality with Jailer? I mean, I, I guess it technically helps small things trade in a little bit. Like, I guess I could use it maybe to push through like a big, um, I don't know. I, 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 I sort of, I don't know. This is debatable. I, I, I sort of need the 4-1 here to die. I, 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 I kind of hope they kill this this turn. I like sort of need this to go away because I'm going to be in fatigue in a second. So and I, it's debuffing, it's kind of handy, baby. I don't know. It's it's worth, you know, quite a bit of face damage. It's worth, you know, these minions being on board is worth something, obviously. So, oh, dude, my light rays are the wrong cost to play with Jailer. How am I one off, dude? That's gross. That's annoying. I mean, I think it's okay. It, it seems like we're still going to be safe to play the Jailer here, but it's a little annoying, isn't it? Okay. This Jailer, of course, not a Paladin card. Ugh, taunt's annoying. Okay, well, my dude died. That was the important thing. Do I ever Theotar their... Like, do we think they have Jailer? I'm not sure. Do I ever Theotar, like, their Jailer instead of playing my own Jailer? No. I gotta play this. <laughs> We've barely been playing this guy at all. I need to play this guy. I'm just... We need to get him in, you know? Need to get a Jailer game going here. All right. So this is what we got to work with. Countess is definitely going to drive a lot of our upside here. Having Theotar is pretty cool, actually. Still pretty cool. We could double Jailer, yeah. 
Oh, order in the court finally. If that's, I'm gonna theater their jailer, right? Or do I just try to win actually? Because even if they play a jailer, they'll just die if I have enough damage coming through. So yeah, I don't actually need to try to steal their jailer. It's not that important. I just play Countess in some insane legendary or whatever. I mean, I'm gonna hit for 18 potentially here anyway. Really? It's not too heavy. So I'm not dying with Kyriel up unless they have some insane weapon removal combo. Taunts are annoying. Their taunts actually matter. So Jailer can hit for 10 here. I think we'll just uh, Countess and Light Rays and just go. Because the, the Jailer itself is, again, just not a risk. If they spend 10 mana on a Jailer, that's totally fine. Um, Krabatoa immune? The death rattle weapons don't matter because they're going to be immune, right? Is that better, though, than, like, just the, the light rays, I wonder? I, it does allow me to hit for 18 this turn because I can push through the, the light ray, but I'm worried that's going to lock out too much board. I think I'd rather have a hook tusk, honestly. I think this is just a little bit bigger and better. Not impressed. I don't, I don't think I will lose the weapon, right, because they're immune. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but but I still just don't think it's worth the risk. Uh, I mean, I don't really have to play a light right here. I don't think I play two because I want to leave space for both legendary invitations and a Reno maybe. But maybe I can play one and not make it a huge risk. I don't know. We'll see. Crab makes Reno worse? Yeah, That's what I was saying. Like, board space is a, is a real legitimate... Uh, Concern when we might want to Reno in case the scheme stretches a little longer. Hello. Yeah, cool. Very nice. Jail good good jailer win. Okay, this is a good opener. Let's just start here. I haven't really drawn the stone hearths much. They seem good. The the tutor for, for order in the court sometimes is, is nice. Even if you don't want to play it right away, just knowing it can hit, it's pretty good. You have so many ways to pull the cheap spells out of out of your deck. Seems seems very useful. I don't know. Losing the Equality City Tax pairing there is a little risky, but I don't think against Secret Mage, Rinathal Secret Mage in particular here, I don't think it's going to be mandatory. They can get some decent sized boards to be sure, but I don't think they'll be like crazy scary boards. I think they'll just be okay. This could be an objection. That's really not a big deal. I like the minion, of course, but not a huge loss necessarily. I think I like shimmering a little bit better just to buy us time on average. I don't know though. The card draw is pretty good to be fair. It's debatable, I guess. Important thing is I think it is good to eat the secret if you can so that uh we'll save that for emergencies good to eat the secret if you can i think so that uh they don't have an easier time with uh contract conjurer or orion or whatever play into it fast okay stone hearth order looks fine next turn i think we can go ahead and order we have coin and leviathan we have like a blade master quality turn maybe huh it feels like it could be a judgment of justice to me what do you guys think I'm feeling a judgment of justice. I don't know why. I just feel it. Is this a, is this a Samuro quality turn? I think they want me to trade here is why they traded in that 2-1, right? And I, I think it's judgment of justice. Could be avenge, I suppose. I just, I don't know why. I just got a feeling. It's, it's I just, I think it's judgment of justice. I don't know why. I just got a feeling. Oh, it's just noble sack. Okay, that's not so bad. That's totally fine. I will double order in the court if I hit order in the court, by the way. Yeah, for sure. Let's go. Give me those cards. I want some light rays, baby. I want to carry out soon. All right, next turn's probably going to be this. I think we're going to need a reset. I'm, I'm worried a little bit, of course, about secrets disrupting that to some extent. Um, we have objection that's pretty gross. I can't really play around objection very well either right now, honestly. Hopefully they don't play any secrets. Just, just don't play secrets for me, please. <laughs> No secrets. All right, they're not doing anything super obvious anyway. So let's have a just a light ray turn to better navigate secrets. There's a secret. Your signature There's a dude. All right. 
Well, I guess we start with coin. It sucks though, because I'm gonna miss the Cariel by a turn, but it will it will give me a little bit of guidance, maybe. Coin? Gave me a lot of guidance, actually. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this. I think it's pretty important to clear these out. My patience with the coin hath been rewarded. So now we have the 7-8. That's pretty good. Light rays will come down with Cariel if we want. We don't have to wait for Jailer, of course. Uh, Countess Reno incoming too. It's nice. We're going to have a good Jailer hand, it seems. Guys, a totally fine target for these. Maybe one more minute would be nice. I can trade in this 1-2 to clean up the 5. Play a thing. Play a cheap 2-drop. Mysterious thingy. Sketchy thingy. Come on, I believe. Is Reggie drinking that Dr. Pepper, though? No, it's... Sherry Coke Zero. Delicious and refreshing. Get one at your local store today. <laughs> I wish I was sponsored by Coke. That'd be insane. That sounds awesome. Didn't like Dexter do some kind of weird Coke thing? Or it wasn't weird, I guess, but just some cool Coke thing. I feel like Dexter did like a Coca-Cola video or something. Does that sound familiar to you guys? Am I just spouting craziness again? <laughs> Dredge in this deck's always garbage. I think this gives me something useful at least. Could be a turn nine fill in maybe. Hashtag Regis Shilbin. You think the FTC would would consider hashtag Regis Shilbin as a sufficient uh, advertisement uh, indicator? You know, like hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored type thing. I don't know. <laughs> really not willing to find out. We won't. We won't risk it. Uh, this is a cool skin, by the way. This Uther looks sick. Oh, well, I got a, I got a supply of Doritos as well. I also won the Doritos. That was really cool. We just gave them all away. My wife kept like three bags and just gave them away to friends and family and stuff, which was really fun. So this might be a... Dredging just has so little value here. This might be an Oasis ally. It is not. <laughs> okay, easy. Uh, counter spell, counter minion here just don't matter at all with Cariel. Ice barrier? No. Our hardships only strengthen our resilience. Giving up a school teacher to attack with this, which sucks. Okay. Do I test an explosive runes here just to learn a little bit? I don't, again, we don't really have to light ray post jailer, I'm finding out. I thought initially that was going to be something that was really important for us, but it just doesn't seem that important. Um, counterspell is just not a relevant secret at all at this stage. I mean, I guess I draw a holy spell next turn, maybe, but I'm willing to learn. I guess it's better if I just proc explosive runes with jailer, though. Like what, you know, it's fine. Uh, I do, if they play another secret, well, we haven't tested objection yet, have we? Oh, I gotta, I gotta play it. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta play the light ray first. Then we haven't tested objection. It's not showing up here, but, um, because if we had explosive runes, would have been tested, right? So I, I'll, I'll do that with Knight of Anointment, maybe. Right? That would be a great test case. Need to be careful here. This dredge is a real liability, by the way. I hate it. Okay. Actually, I think I care about the equalities. So maybe we'll just use Righteous Protector here to test. That's fine. This feels like a Noble Sack, maybe, or something? I don't know. It's Explosive Runes, not Objection. Okay, interesting. Um, Yeah, I'll test Noble Sack like this. That's fine. Okay. So, it could be Judgment of Justice again. Really, dude? This Judgment of Justice? <laughs> I thought for sure it was Judgment of Justice last time, and it wasn't. Oh, man. I feel like I'm gonna get debated here now. No, it's not. Avenge, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, Avenge, okay. <sighs> Do I really want a Theotar at all? Like, what? Oh boy, what would I give them? I don't want to give them anything. Light rays are really expensive for them. I, I mean, I would give them a Knight of Anointment, I guess, but I don't really want to. I don't, I don't think this is a good play. I think I just wait. I think I. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good play. All right, I'm happy to play this out. I just want to get a big threat down. Theotar, or I mean, Jailer incoming next turn is really nice. Th they have a really big hand. This deck's more like greedy than I expected. I'm, I'm worried they could also have a Theotar, right? The normal secret mages wouldn't be running that necessarily, but they seem to be playing for a little bit more value. They have like Famished Fool, Multicaster. 
Definitely a, a different looking secret maze than we were running, which was more aggressively slanted. This one appears to have more more value and more long game potential. So I don't know that we're gonna dodge a Jailer necessarily or a Theotar necessarily, but we haven't played it yet. So and if they do, we might be able to take it back. So either way, <laughs> Seafloor Savior, by the way, is really good. <laughs> I'm glad I grabbed that in hindsight. Thank you. Uh, now, if I do go for Jailer here, I probably want to trade him a 1-1. One, one. I don't think I want a 1-1 one, one stuck on board in my Jailer world. 5-5 five, five is, is good enough, I think. That's fine. Happy with that. Wildfire, too. Wow. Okay. Apprentice. It's really not too scary here. Okay. We're in a really good spot here, I'd say. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sad, man. I wanted to have fun. But yeah, that tells you what you need to know, I guess, right? That's that's gonna do it. I misread the thumbnail as Maul and Disorder sucks. <laughs> I don't have a strong opinion yet on, on the, the quality of Maul and Disorder. Man, I'm like, now that we're playing Warlock again, I'm thinking about keeping this equality. I, I feel like I might need this. Feels like those uh, those imp boards get kind of crazy. I think we have a good enough opener here that I can afford to keep an equality. Just having stuff to do is fine. This deck does seem a little bit exposed to Imp Warlock, although Samuro seems like another good option. That's at least one equality enabler for later. Rarian opener is spooky. Seafloor probably can test just a tiny bit better, I think. Sunfish is good, yeah. Buffed Sunfish in particular is really spicy. Four attack Sunfish is really good. Better than Muckborn, that's for sure. If only I could attack the Vile Library. <laughs> <laughs> Let me attack it, please. I don't think we hit the librarian here, right? She's very likely to die to this trade anyway. Let's just go face, protect some health on this. Sometimes winning with counter pressure is a good good plan against this, this warlock too. Hey, Towns Hutzel, man, that's a cool name. Thanks for the 199, that's really nice. Yeah, right, imagine playing Jailer, I know. Oh, they're gonna buff the librarian, which actually makes the Samuro much better. Oh, oh. Grimoire? Oh, Grimoire is really good. Shoot. Now the Smurro is much worse again. Jeez. Grimoire makes this deck insane, I think. Um, well, suddenly Smurro is just really not amazing. I don't really have to Smurro yet. I can just chill, maybe play some, some twos. He may not be good again until turn six is the problem, but... We have to take our time a little bit, I think. Reckoning? Only problem with Reckoning is I don't get another play right now if I play the Reckoning to kill this 8-3, but man, that seems worthy as a target, doesn't it? Judgment of Justice obviously could backfire too easily. Yeah, I think I'll do it, man. I think it's it's good enough. They, they could debuff this with trading in the Imps, but it's still going to do more than three. Got all that Vile Library buff on it, so... Uh, Twitch Pander, you just were attacking a library. Oh, delightful, yeah. That, that tracks. Are they gonna feel safe to hit with this or not? Yeah, I think they should anyway. It's just eight damage, right? It's worth it. So now my question is, do I use this Samuro? Do I need to deal with these one ones into this library turn? Muckborn could find me like a city tax to answer. I. I'm gonna, uh, you just really want to save the Samuro for this equality, right? So you just, you you don't want to rip this yet. I, I'm not going to. I have a taunt. I think it'll be okay. I don't think the risk is insane. Man, do I ever just take a Sword of the Fallen here to start cleaning up at least one imp? Seafloor is obviously the better play on average, but just removing one imp could be a big difference maker. If I'm gonna Samuro equality anyway next turn, though, I, I don't really need to. I think I just take the best card here. And, and sea floor still. We're just kind of hoping that the, the, the buff hits a dude. Getting closer when order in the court would matter, yeah. Uh, Theotaring their, their Rafam could be a play for next turn. But order in the court's too good, I think. Theotar getting buffed is kind of nice too, but not really relevant. This deck's hard to beat. Uh, I don't know, I feel like we don't quite have enough tools <clears throat> in a row. The top shelf um okay that's bigger than i hoped still though not taking a ton of damage which was really the goal here so now the question is is this worth the samuro 
you know, I could go like carry out order. Leave I leave behind ten damage. <clears throat> I'm at effectively thirteen. If I go for Samuro, the problem is if they play Rafam, I just absolutely fall over dead. Right? I cannot beat Rafam. <sighs> I could go for a like Samuro a quality light ray turn next turn. These are was bugged, but I think it's only hero cards that he's bugged for, is what I heard. All right, I'm gonna be a little bit greedy, guys. I uh, I think I need a better play. Gonna be a little bit greedy. I don't know how cheap the light ray is. I'm kind of trusting it's playable. And I'm also sort of thinking this is a Rafam. May not be, I don't know, we may regret this, but I just think I need a little more out of the Samuro is my logic. But I kind of think they're gonna trade here and play Rafam. Okay, not a Rafam, just curses. Curses are annoying too though, because it's a lot of extra damage. I mean, the good news is it didn't really seem like we needed the Samuro. Bad news is they are still just chipping me down really effectively because I'm not making a powerful swing play. These curses and just bodies are chipping away at me. I mean, I have a Cariel incoming because we played the order in the court at the right time. So that's kind of good news, I guess. I'm going to hold Samuro again now. Now I really don't see a reason to rush the Samuro. Debate here is do you kill an imp or do you kill a 4-4? Guess you still kill an imp because the 4 4 doesn't necessarily trade any better over the 5 5. Doesn't get buffed. I mean, it can with library, of course, but I guess you kill an imp. It's pretty close, though. I don't think that's an obvious decision by any means. So, Cariel next turn. I might just attack face this weapon next turn pre Cariel, unless the Cariel hit feels really good somehow. This might be a drag below. Oh, Tamsin. Okay. Oh, that would have been better to hit the 4 4 then. Okay. Cariel still tidies that up, though, which is the important part here. Oh, I'm not getting carry out yet. I'm selling a light ray. Shoot. Shoot. I'm selling one light ray. Oh, I got a bad turn here then. Dang. Ugh. Crap. Uh, should have played the order in the court one turn earlier. Didn't really have a chance, but <laughs> should have. It would have been nice. So, God, now I have to ask about the Samuro again, right? I can a quality carry out next turn, so I, I think I can Samuro this. It just feels like garbage, right? It just feels so bad. But I have a quality carry out for nine mana. So I, I, I think it's okay. It's just really hate that I've been holding this Samuro for so long and sacrificing so much, and now it's gonna do so little. It's gonna do so little. I got a hit here, of course. Okay. I don't love it, but we're just so far behind. I, I think I just need to. So quality carry L is good. It's weird that like, maybe I, maybe I don't even play the five, five, honestly. Cause what does it do? They're not attacking on board. I'm just going to equality it anyway. I don't know. I mean, it helps trade into like something. Well, no, equality. quality. No, I don't know. I don't think you should play the five, five. I think you should have waited. What's the point of playing the five, five right now? Zero point. Ugh, it's curses, man. What a pain. Well, now I have to ask if I use the equality. They're just not really developing any boards, you know? I can just trade in, maybe. Probably okay, though, too. When else am I going to use it? I'm not going to be getting any sort of AoE in a long time because we know the order of the deck, and we might even be destroying the deck soonish. So I might as well. It can obviously work a little bit with trades on board and stuff, but uh, I'm also just dying, dude. I, I just, I'm just dying. <laughs> I i need to be able to play these out i'm taking two and two is four and i'm at eight so i don't know it's gonna be tough to win here so any more curses might just be lethal this deck's i feel like really hard to beat i feel like they have a great mix of like early game pressure and late game inevitability that's really hard to beat i i, I can try to get to reno right uh but but i have to play jailer and then reno that is not going to be easy to do. And any other curses are going to set up lethals too. Like It's like I can't even actually really play the Jailer now. It just... Oh, I, I had to get Leviathan here, dude. No. <laughs> I really needed the other side of this 50-50 to react to the board and draw an extra card. Oh, that's such a low roll. What a big 50-50 loss. Because if I'm able to draw a card, 
I get to Reno next turn. I mean, I still think we were kind of doomed, to be honest. I don't think it helped. I mean, technically I'm alive here. It only hits for two, but any curse becomes a lethal. Without this, any curse deals three and is not technically lethal. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't understand the Countess either. I I, I mean, I, I understand why, because post Jailer, you know, it gives you resources to end the game and big minions to end the game. Like, I understand the logic, but but I just, I, I think I'd rather have a more, oh, they just missed lethal. Oh, they're gonna take my Jailer, okay. <laughs> I mean, all right. They probably should've went for the lethal instead, but, but sure. I'll fly him up, of course. That's amazing. That's amazing. I, I mean, I, I, I can't beat their Jailer anyway, but it's pretty funny that they miss lethal. Now without Jailer, I can't Reno either. It, uh, it's for like 10 turns anyway. <laughs> so, so clearly we're not in a good spot. Um, are, they ever, are they ever just dead if they play Jailer? I have like 10? Not quite, no. Man. Closer than they might like, though. If I had a school teacher's any lethals, like a buff that's a lethal, I don't think so. Literally any curse again, though, is lethal. Could hit Theotarn take him back, but I, he's not very good right now. Again, I just need so many turns. Because even, I have to jail her to, to Reno, right? It's just, it takes 100 turns. Be better off stealing an AoE at this point. There's no school teacher lethals, right? Double checking, we need six damage. There is actually, conviction deals six damage. School teacher into conviction could be lethal. School teacher conviction, if we get conviction, we get three buffs, it's lethal. <laughs> I mean, that would be an insane eye roll. Uh, wait, wait! Oh no, they only have five. Oh no, it's six because it's, it's plus one, it, it repeats, right? They actually threw. They actually threw. <laughs> yes! I swear to God, I win so many games lately for my opponent throwing. I win so many games when they throw. I can't believe it. I mean, Brand School Teacher would be sick. I don't think there's a really key target for the brand other than the Theatar, perhaps. Beyond that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna look for a better early opener line here. Stone Hearth is cool. Stone Hearth uh, does not always draw order in the court here. Of course, it can draw other things as well. Peasant, is this worth a coin? City tax? I don't know. I feel like city tax is gonna get better later. L let's let's uh. Yeah. Uh, maybe if they hero power this, right? Maybe, maybe it's worth the city tax just so I don't waste a coin too, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. I, I kind of think how many, co like, like, is the city tax so good later against a board in combination with a quality that it's worth saving it for the swing later even if I give up some cards, right? Taunt guy there is kind of an, th this... This might make city tax a little more worth it because I can just clear two minions now. I do give them an extra tunnel trog, which is kind of annoying. If I want to, I can just stick to a curve here. The stone hearth vindicator and the battle vicar can both potentially get me an equality. So I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold. We may regret this. They may snowball too hard here, but holy mocky roll. Or hold the bridge. Hold the bridge here. We will care about healing later. I like the flexibility of Holy Maki roll in that case more, I think. Draw minions, not necessarily bad either, but. Just in case. Not a tunnel trog, that's true. I would probably prefer it were a tunnel trog right now because Druid doesn't have overload cards. <laughs> That would be delightful. I wish it were. Regis, I just wanted to say that I am not a poopy head. Okay? Whatever you have to tell yourself. <laughs> Whatever you need to get through the day. Yeah, so in yesterday's video, for anyone who doesn't know that reference, I said anybody who mentions the quest, I'm going to call them a poopy head. 
And I did for like the first 20 minutes. I was typing poopy head on a bunch of people's comments who mentioned the quest, you know, to be funny. But YouTube started removing them for like spam. All of them just vanished. So I was like, I can't, I'm going to get banned for <laughs> like harassment. You know, I got to be careful here. I got to stop calling people a poopy head. I got to chill a little bit with this. So I did. This stupid peasant dude has snowballed so hard. But if I get an equality rate, it's all going to be worth it. It's, it's going to be, it's going to feel very vindicated. There we go. Okay, sadly not really something I want to play this turn, I don't think, because they might buff afterwards. I, I want to be able to play it post buff. So we have four mana anyway with the city tax. It's not a big deal. Now, sadly, the tunnel trog is again going to make a fresh tunnel trog and it won't die to the city tax. So it's not a complete clear here unless they soften up a... Well, no, it doesn't even... If they leave my 3-1 up, it might be. Oh, okay, never mind. It is a complete clear. Cool. Our patience hath been rewarded. Um, I need to hit the trog after the equality here. Or I'll make another new trog. Oh, I guess I won't because the board is full, but either way, this is fine. All right, big reset there. Really big reset there. We got through their first board pretty effectively, I would say. Now, the, the problem is, of course, we gave them a few extra cards of value off that peasant. So they, they do have a, a pretty good resource hand here to reload. So we're going to have to start step two, which hopefully the, the school teachers will find us some cool stuff to do. Oh, they went for the body instead of the buff. Interesting. With that wide of a board, I would have thought about the buff, maybe. A little surprised. Could go here to try to hit a Pride's Fury, but I think it's so hard. Ugh. Don't love this. Don't love this. Uh, Sous Chef, go get it. We needed uh, a more effective AoE here. Don't really have anything. Samuro in deck somewhere, but we'll see. YouTube streaming Pog. We can't say Pog on YouTube. That's a Twitch thing. I don't even hear that on Twitch, though. I don't, I'm not a... Oh, uh, it's probably game. Even the Okani wouldn't have stopped that there. Order in the court is going to be too late. I mean, the light rays could help. Can kill a 5-8 here and heal a fair bit. Order in the court. That Theotar is not going to have anything relevant, right? This is three mana. I go spells the trog. It's going to give them a full board. It's just one, hel one attack, dude. It's not that big a deal, but still a pain. Any sort of a quality play here that's good enough? Just don't see it. Let's start here, though. Order in the court off this is a little cheaper, at least. And I don't have to activate uh, the trog. So that's kind of cool. So maybe the light right here will be enough? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it really, but... We'll see. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Gotta give them a trog. Otherwise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn my <laughs> burn my light ray. So, uh, yeah. Okay. The plan almost worked well. <laughs> it almost worked out great. So that looks like a buff. Usually, could be a living roots, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, it's a buff. I think I'm not pulling this back, even with light rays, right? Holy monkey roll, light ray. I mean, it's a lot. It's it's a lot. Could play the other order in the court as well to get the other light ray as well. And then just holy Maki roll a bunch. These hits are pretty clean. This guy's a bit of a pain, but the Maki rolls can help. I mean, the, the light rays can help. I think I want the other light ray, right? It loses a little bit of healing, but two five five taunts is pretty meaningful. Can't get rid of the trog, so that's not a concern yet. See if this is enough to stabilize. I don't know. Can't say it feels great, but... So don't think it's a disaster. I don't see a reason to hit anything here. I mean, technically six health is a pretty interesting breakpoint, but we can just save that for later, maybe. 
if they value traded, it's probably not the end of the world. So Cariel off the top next turn is actually pretty legit. Uh, that's that's not a problem for Cariel. She doesn't care about that. Okay, trade a three, two, and a two, three, four, seven, and a hero power. Oh, hero power that one. Okay, sure. The so three and a two on the trogs or what here? What's happening here? Oh, thorn growth space making. Okay, sure. That makes it a five. That's that's sneaky good. It's pretty clean. Man, Cariel here is legit though. Ooh, <laughs> so insane. I think we've done it. I think we've stabilized, guys. I think I got through this mess. I think that was what we needed. Do I take any damage here to save a body? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Woo! Okay. Nice. Nice. I liked I liked our lines. I think I missed a healing in hindsight on that stupid trog turn. I think I traded and could have got one extra healing, but but it worked. Yeah, I mean I think Order of the Court's the best card in the deck, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. I I mean I guess arguably the Cariel's the best card of the deck if Order of the Courts is getting you two or suitor, maybe the jailer, right? But Yeah, maybe we'll get to uh maybe we'll get to play the jailer for the first time this game because i definitely haven't played him yet De definitely not <laughs> i definitely did not play the jailer into an objection okay don't worry about it i miss your super chat oh sorry dude let me check um sorry yeah it's hard to keep up uh is there nowhere to like look at super chats i don't I don't see a way to do it, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't, oh wait, I can look over here. I have it on my thing over here. Been watching you for years, first time seeing you live. Thanks for all you do from the UK. Ah, oh, thanks Cornish Crypto, dude, that's nice. Okay, this is too early though. We, gotta, we can't go yet, right? We need plays. The Jailer's there for moral support, yeah. This is basically the Jailer pointing at the Jailer. <laughs> There's a lot of pointing in this set, I noticed. Today I used the um, Ace Attorney objection uh, graphic for my thumbnail on our secret mage because the card is literally called objection, right? This this thing here is from Ace Attorney, um, which I've never played, but obviously know the, the memes and references and such. But a uh, lot of pointing. Well, apparently you point a lot in court. I've never been in court, so I didn't I didn't know there was so much pointing. Uh, do we like Okani against Demon Hunter? It could be great later, but it's pretty hard to time. I'm just gonna take the Battle Vicar to fill our turns for now. I think that's a little bit cleaner. <laughs> Sigil of Alacrity. All right, guys, I'm checking my 762 viewers. Wow. Already more than Twitch. It's crazy. Yeah, school teacher body here is fine. Um, another order in the court. It is just really cheap card draw. I think we don't need the healing yet, so works for me. Turn five might be about the right time to play it, by the way. I, um, I could see that. Maybe turn six. I have Battle Vicar and other order in the court, so I, I can advance to like the Cariels and stuff a little sooner. Let's see what Battle Vicar gets me, whether I have mana for the Noggling or not. Topple the idol into Fell Barrage. Wow. I wonder if that was the best choice or just kind of sufficient. I don't think they really wanted to Fury a 4 4, so. I bet it wasn't their favorite choice. Um, Cariel, Vicar, Righteous. I can kind of fill my turns a little bit. I'm gonna go, I think. Can I get to eight mana as the real, like like turn six is like Battle Vicar, Order. Maybe Battle Vicar, Righteous. I think I'm gonna go. Shockingly few. <laughs> I shouldn't read chat. Uh, okay. Jailers in hand. Shockingly few sex bots in chat today. What a shame it is. <laughs> JGC, thanks for the uh, uh, one pound 79 pence. I think I said that right. I don't I don't know how your language or how your currency works. <laughs> your language, I don't know that either, but uh, I don't know how your currency works. But I think I said that kind of right, so hopefully. Alrighty, play a light ray. I think righteous defense is honestly fine here. Right, just orders, cool. Just draw more. 
Uh, are we clean this or hitting face? I mean, at some point, I, I, I do care about connecting with face damage, right? Like, I'm going to want to play the Jailer and just start hitting them in the face. Um, is a 1-1 one, one really worth, you know, whacking into here? Just I get a, I get a 1-1 one, one out of it because I... Well, no, that's not a holy spell, so no, I don't. <sighs> I mean, I, I, I think I go face. What's it's a one one? Who cares, right? Just who cares? This animation is really cool, by the way. I don't know, graphic animation, whatever you call it. I think it's really cool visual, though. Kind of surprised it's like blue looking. I guess the jailer is kind of bluish, dude. Blue magic, but she herself doesn't appear to use blue magic. She's like a a demon lady. I would expect green fell magic more so hey pyro are you mr beast well, i've been called a beast but uh not mr <laughs> no one no self-respect self-respecting person would call me mr uh these are pretty clunky a righteous defense is, is probably my best play but I, I don't think it's a very exciting one just wondering if i actually just play a light ray here it kind of makes their attack if they want to draw a card really punishing for them i would typically save these post jailer to make sure i have a really threatening board with the jailer but i think i can save one and still feel pretty good about it like i don't think i need a ton of stuff necessarily could hold a silver and recruit in hand to get hand buffed a little more but yeah i do get hold the bridge a lot you're right yeah there's a lot of secrets and stuff that i should be getting but Seems like we've gotten to hold the bridge like every uh every time we discover. Thank you, Fel Barrages, for <laughs> thank you, Silver Recruits, for <laughs> launching your faces into those Fel Barrages. That was very kind of you. Are they gonna tank six? Yeah, they don't. See, so it did our plan worked. It shut down their draw. That's pretty nice. I think that's a good plan. Definitely seems worth the post jailer sacrifice, I, I suspect. Denied them some resources. Still, I mean, still on board too, right? It's, it's, it hasn't been killed yet. It's still immune. <laughs> it's functionally immune. Uh, relic. Okay. Why did they fury first? Maybe they knew they were going to bibliomite. I don't know. There's some interestingly quick plays happening here. I've never played this fast in my life. <laughs> They're a lot more confident than I am. Uh, Okay, they are taking some damage now too, jeez. It's gonna be a big jailer turn. If we even need it, honestly. Kind of just overwhelming them here with stuff. I don't really see them coming back from this. I mean, it's not impossible, sure, but kind of just winning on order in the court value again, man. Oh, is that enough to stay alive? That's not bad. Oh, oh yeah um oh no they got oh oh that's enough it's not infused though but it'll clear the board oh i'm actually kind of excited now i get to play jailer <laughs> i wouldn't jinx myself i'm gonna lose now oh my god dude they're going absolutely insane oh wait they didn't pick they had to pick extinction to clear it wasn't infused maybe they were hoping to hit something off the top <laughs> 